Hello folks, welcome back to Caves of Cud. So this character here has kind of escalated a bit. As you can see, I am down here in the rusty subterranean caves, 65 strata deep, right? So this is the character I have created for my, the two recent videos I did um, where I kind of checked out and showed the new areas, the new endgame areas in um, that are in the beta right now. And, uh, you know, I just kind of created a character for it that I know to be survivable. Didn't expect the character to be that survivable. So um, I just went into the underground and I went deeper and deeper and deeper. So I thought, hey, let me just record a video now to just show you the nonsense I've been up to here uh, before this character dies, because this is a permadeath character and I have, unbelievable as it may be, not cheated. So this character has not died, I have not safe scummed this. Um, it just happened to work out this way. So before we get into it, let me quickly show you the build that I'm using, right? So I am again using electrical generation at multiple legs as my main mutations, right? So electrical generation, um, I'm mainly using this to power weapons so that we can shoot stuff indefinitely. Like energy powered weapons, we can power these by using electrical generation. I have multiple legs because I'm shooting a lot. I want to be able to move fast so we can actually not engage in melee if we don't want to, right? So that's what multiple legs does. It increases your move speed by a whole lot. Um, I also have triple jointed, which I mainly use to get agil agility up. As you can see, we have that on max 10. We don't really need to... Um, I've never advanced this because uh, this was only for the agility. This is also kind of neat, but uh, that's okay. And at some point later, and this was kind of crucial, and this is also why this character wouldn't be easy to replicate, actually, probably all that much, I got force bubble by a mutation that I bought, right? At some point I had points over, you know, I had leftover points, mutation points, because um, I couldn't increase anything anymore. And I got force bubble, brought force bubble to 10. And uh, since this is a mental mutation, the ego bonus gets uh, added on top of it. And what the force bubble does is, oops, let's wait 10 turns. This, right? We get a force field around us and this, has turned out to be crucial in the deep underground and I will show you why. Uh, there's other ways to do this but uh, you know this is one way to not get ridiculously destroyed down here. So um, yeah that's the build. I found a bunch of cool stuff you know. Um, Zetachrome stuff has become extremely rare and we have a few things here. We have a Zetachrome loon, uh, we have a Zetachrome helmet thing i don't remember what that's called apex right we have gloves the rest is flawless crystal right flawless crystal boots and a few things this is actually not the best equipment i have um you know i've got a chrome pyramid dismantled at some point so this is a plus three ego face item it's essentially the face of a chrome pyramid um that's a longer story and that gets me plus three ego which uh, gets added to force bubble. That's why I got this. Also, yeah, we have the night sight interpolators, which I'm powering with antimatter cells. Antimatter cells, not that much of a problem, it turns out at a later point. And uh, that's essentially what we're doing. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get as deep as possible. So we are 65 strata deep and we're going to go into the underground and I'm going to show you what I do to survive down here. It's kind of interesting, right? So beyond level 30, the underground doesn't change all that much anymore. I believe what happens is that the encounter tables just get weighted more and more towards the highest level stuff. And uh, we're going to see how that works. And that's basically also the reason why the force bubble is so crucial down here. So we're just going to start exploring at 65 strata deep. I just dropped down a shaft here and uh, cleared out this map. 
and here we go so one thing that we want to do is we never want to explore without having false bubble active we never want to go into unknown territory without having false bubble active okay there's some glitter mensch down here so we're just going to leave them alone for the time being and um, the main reason why we want to have false bubble active is these guys here these are gamma moths now what gamma moths do is they shoot at you they have a projectile attack and that projectile attack makes you mutate and uh, that will get you a new mutation defect and you don't want that to happen because that's bad right so what we do is we never want to get hit by the gamma moth and the force bubble will prevent that right that's the main reason that's the 100 the main reason to not uh, to have the force bubble on this character um there are these guys here these are arch dervishes of the sightless way if they engage me in melee they actually can be very dangerous because if they have an axe they can quickly dismember you the problem with these arch dervishes is they don't attack armor value or, or they don't attack armor value they attack mental armor and as you can see my mental armor is four so i don't actually want them to hit me and they can dismember you they can um, swipe your weapon away they can disarm you they can do all kinds of stuff so we don't want that to happen um, this thing over here is a decarbonizer decarbonizers are also dangerous but only if you don't know how to deal with them so yeah in any case let's quickly explore the rest of this map so that i can be sure that nothing will murder me without the force bubble or will do bad things to me here we go okay force bubble is gone but i've ex already explored this i don't think there's another gamma moth here so i'm going to show you how these decarbonizers work right see that thing over there see this so now this all has become red and that means i have a few turns to get away let's wait a few turns it's a lot it's not that you know that's more than 10 turns actually and that's the shot and if that hits you you get dismembered completely almost if it hits you directly you just lose all your limbs and your head and you're dead so that can be a one-shot kill the fun thing is with these guys actually is to lure other creatures in here and have them get dismembered right that's by the way how i got the chrome pyramid sensor array because uh i've had a chrome pyramid get dismembered by this thing this will dismember anything um you can also dismember whoopsie daisy whoa uh, you can also dismember like cherubs and whatever it's it's fun um they have a lot of health they have a lot of health it's almost like it takes a long time to get them down I'm using ceremonial vibro copacious so I can basically damage anything um, it just takes a long time so if you want to kill them what you have to do is you have to attack them but be careful because once this happens you want to get away and out of the way of the thing it also bounces on walls I think two times so you need to be careful where you stand and then you keep attacking it and once it becomes red again you need to stop so don't just keep the button pressed because uh that becomes an issue see there we go again it's red let's just kill that guy right now and boom here we go and then let's keep going damaged here we go it becomes red again wait zip and there we go scary thing gone and we should be yes we should be done still gives us we are level 43 still gives us a thousand xp so it's actually kind of lucrative to kill these things right that's the decarbonizers that's one element down here let's get the force bubble going again and uh, let's explore the next map these guys are interesting these are phase cannon tinkers so the weapon that i'm using is a phase cannon i think that's the highest level projectile weapon in the game it is a number eight tier eight meta crystal uh 
face cannon, right? And these are dangerous, and this is a face cannon tinker, so they build these things. The cool thing is, um, you can use these to farm meta crystals. If you take a look at this, I have 57 meta crystals. It's a lot. So um, we're going to leave this guy alive for now. I could just one shot the one shot them with my face cannon, but. Um, Let's let that guy live for a moment and let it build the cannons. Just a few of them. There we go, and that's the second one. Maybe another one? Yeah, that's another one. And let's murder that guy now. And what we're going to do is I'm going to let my force bubble go. And one of my skills that I have is swipe, right? So we can swipe this, and we have disarmed the turret, and there's the face cannon. So we're going to do this with all of them. Um, they will shoot at me, but the face hit is not enough. I have a lot of health to actually meaningfully... I have a lot of armor as well, and that's actually what does it. Um, to meaningfully dam damage me. But, uh, you know, let's stay away. And let's disarm the last one. And here we go. So we have three disarmed face cannon turrets. And uh, they just usually just leave behind a bunch of chem cells. But uh, yeah, so what we can do now is there's an antimatter cell in it, so we can, you know, disassemble this. And we can also disassemble the antimatter cell. Or you can keep it, you know. I need some antimatter cells for my night side interp interpolators uh, because I can't mod things to be jacked because I never found that. So uh, yeah. I can also just build antimatter cells with all the meta crystals that I have, so it's fine. So, let's disassemble all these things. Here we go. Disassemble this. Yeah. Usually they have nuclear cells in them. Mostly they have, sometimes they have antimatter cells in them. Again, that's a lot of meta crystals to get, you know? We can basically mod everything that we ever need. Like, the weird thing is, the one tinkering bit that I have actually an issue with is flawless crystals because I don't really find stuff that has flawless crystals in them. And um, building a bunch of important grenades, like EMP grenades, uh, that costs flawless crystals. So that's a bit of an issue. Like I, I would probably have to go to a sort of mid-range level again, just to farm these flawless crystals. Down here, there's nothing you find that actually gets you a lot of flawless crystals, which is weird. So we're going to turn the force bubble back on because, hey, there's two more Gamma Moths, and there's a Mimic there, which we can just disintegrate. Let's kill the Gamma Moth. The other Gamma Moth was... was yeah, the Gamma Moth was killed by this Arch Dervish. Again, the Arch Dervish, like, because of our ability to move really fast, uh, it's fine, actually, you know? So, uh, one other thing that you can do with the force bubble is you can push walls away, as you can see. So if there's nothing behind it, it will just push the wall away. But if it can't be pushed in a direction, nothing will happen, right? So if we attack this from here, we'll just push it in, essentially. It's a bit of a thing. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to wait until the force bubble is gone. We're going to wait until we can do the force bubble again. We're going to do the force bubble and then we're going to change maps. Because we never want to have a gamma moth. We basically never want to encounter a gamma moth without having the force bubble on. Usually, like, if you see it, you can usually get away. That has happened, like, a few times for me. But, yeah. And, yeah. We're just going to keep exploring this. So we have Kaleidoceramus. I already have those. There's a gemstone. And there's another phase cannon with an antimatter cell in it. I'm going to take out this antimatter cell because it's full. We're just going to disassemble this. And yeah, on the corpses, you know, there might be stuff. I'm looking for Zetachrom boots. Zetachrom stuff has become extremely rare, right? Like, I have been down here for a bit. We are 65 strata deep, right? And I've only, I've not found any Zitachrome boots yet. So let's keep going. And uh, once we can go down, we will go down. So we have a tongue tyrant there. 
There's the astral tabbies. That's, that's good. Uh, we have a clone of Shadamush. They are pretty common down here, by the way. Uh, it's called Easy Now. And uh, we have a Magma Crab. So we're just going to shoot everything, essentially. Tongue Tyrant dies. Let's kill the Magma Crab. That's a thousand XP, which is very good. Um, we're going to shoot the clone of the Sky Bear, which is like, it just takes a few shots with the face cannon. It's fine. So let's just shoot everything around here. We're going to wait. Oh, that's a spider. We're going to wait. We're going to turn back on the force bubble. We're going to explore the rest of the map. And this is how you how you need to move around here, right? You can basically don't let your guard down because um, bad things might happen. This is essentially what I've been doing in this run while doing other stuff, essentially. So let's go down. Gamma Moth here. Uh, that was actually kind of kind of an issue. I should maybe have gone in with a full thing. And there's that. I'm famished, which is not very good. There's another decarbonizer. We're just going to leave that alone. And there's a Dromad Caravan. Let's do that. Let's kill that thing. Okay, have I accidentally attacked? Yeah. That's fine. We can just murder Dromad Caravans at this point. It's, it's okay. See? Here we go. Let's check what they had. At this point, we don't actually ever need to... I'm just going to pick that up, actually. I have to talk about something else soon. Let's take the gold nuggets. I don't ever need to trade anymore, so it's actually not... Uh, I don't know why I have this. I'm just picking this stuff up. Plasma grenade. Okay, thermal cask. Let's disassemble that. Um, there's this thing. There's a Rhinox over there. Rhinox is not dangerous anymore. What is this? Flawless Crystal Greatsword. Nice. Um, these Great Salt Bags, they have a lot of AV. So we actually need to kill them in melee with the Vibro Kobeshes, which works out nicely. It's not a problem. Here we go. And that's that. Um, as you could see there, there was one of these Krakens. They're neutral. And you kind of don't want to get into trouble with them, because it's, uh, I don't know, it's not that fun. One other thing that, and that happens, if you have the force bubble active, these things will not target you. They will only target you if they can actually hit you. We can do some fun things here. Yeah. Let's try to get this, and this should work. Let's try to get this guy decarbonized over there. So let's have... Let's wait until we get targeted. There we go. See? Zip. I think it didn't work because um, it's still... The Rhinox is still uh, unattackable. Yeah, we're not doing any damage. When they are frozen in cryo, you can't actually do damage until they thaw. So... Well, so much for that. But you can do fun stuff with the decarbonizers. Okay. So we're 66 strata deep. That thing is attacking something. It's sometimes tough to see, but there's the red. Right? You can see it on the dots on the ground. So let's not run in there. I'm going to uh, put the force bubble back on. And let's kill the arch dervish. Here we go. This is also one of the only ways to still get experience beyond level 40. Which is a thing. Okay, we have the force bubble active. But this seems to be mostly everything. Let me just quickly check with the Rhinox again. We don't need to kill the Rhinox, actually. I don't think... Yeah, no, we can actually attack it. No, we can't? No, still not. Um, yeah, I don't think we would actually get experience from Rhinoxes anymore. So, whatever. Okay, we're going to wait. No! Oh! Shit. Okay, this was... Let me quickly see. Did we lose anything? I don't think so. I fucked up, actually. And I waited in the... Where the decarbonizer was. I was just extremely lucky that... Um, yeah, I was just extremely lucky that it missed me. Whew. Okay, this might have been it, actually. This might have been the end. Uh, that's one of the things 
that is the case. Okay, the Rhinox has probably attacked the Decarbonizer and was killed, right? Yeah, it has. It has charged the Decarbonizer over here. It has a Rhinox tail. And the face. We have a Rhinox face here. I think that's only two ego, right? Yeah. So we don't need that. So we already have plus three ego from the sensor array. Okay. So. Let's turn the force bubble on. And let's keep going. Okay, there's the Kraken. I'm going to leave that guy alone. I can handle a Kraken, but it's not something you want to do. It's a hassle, so... Okay. Okay. There we have one of these. These are Lithofaxes. The, lith the Lithofaxes have an attack that they telegraph with a red thing as well. And um, that's an instant kill. So you also need to be careful about that. It's usually not a problem at this point anymore. Usually they don't actually get to the point where they would actually try to attack me with that. Because a few shots with the face cannon is actually enough. Also another thing, the face cannon uses a lot of charge. Right, if you can see my discharge, or like my, uh, the wards that I have, aren't, uh, they go down quickly. So I can only do like five shots. And then I need to do something else. Force bubble on, next map. Right? And that's how you can do it. So, there's another glow moth and stairs down. Fantastic. We're going to do that. Let's kill the rest of these. Astro Tabby's still 180 experience, which uh, is a little bit at least. Right? Let's go down. And we have another Rhinox. Interesting. I haven't seen Rhinoxes in a, in a long time, actually. It's just like one of the encounters that can be in cryo, that's the reason. See, that was the attack by the glow moth. I'm in my force bubble, so nothing happened. So here we go. Kill that. Re this guy has a rejoinder. Because they're using the Archdevish is using short blades. I have some trouble killing the amoebas for some reason. Uh, that's not a it's kind of an embarrassing display there, buddy. Okay, I've explored without having a force bubble on. Uh, yeah. So that's one of the things, is it's a lot easier to do this and not make mistakes when you're not recording yourself and talking. That's really, uh, that's really something I've noticed once I started playing Caves of Cut on my own again. So yeah. Oops, yeah, okay. So we pushed all of that stuff away with our force bubble. So the Rhinox is gonna get out at some point. But here we go. So we're just going to wait. We're going to wait 40 more turns so we can turn on the force bubble again. It's building the zone and here we go. So we can just push this stuff out of the way. Usually because I have the Vibro Kopeshes, I can just dig through any walls relatively easily. Not easily. It takes a bit, right? Especially for the slate stuff here. But uh, yeah. Oh, what? What is this? Oh, this is my stuff actually. There's a magnet somewhere around here. That has been an issue as well. There are sometimes these magnets around here. Ah, oh, cranky. Where's the magnet? And if you have the force bubble active, you just drop that stuff on your, essentially on your feet. Oh, there, there it is. There we go. Let's destroy that thing. Here we go. Um, there's, there have been a few times where I just lost a ton of stuff, like all of my metal stuff, like tons of antimatter cells, some Zetachrom things uh, that I had in my inventory, which wasn't all that bad because it was not stuff that I was actively using, but uh, but still, right? There's nothing in that. I'm going to wait so we can turn back on our force bubble and we're gonna go gonna keep going and stairs down we're going to take them okay there's a nano neuro animator here which we're just gonna leave and there's a gamma moth kill the gamma moth always kill the gamma moth gamma moth 
have absolute priority. Always kill them first. Okay, we have some 3D cobblers. I'm just going to take this stuff apart. And uh, that's how that goes, right? Oh, there's another gamma. I was a C again. I'm playing while recording, and I get unfocused sometimes. Okay, I dervish on the side this way. There's another decarbonizer. Always destroy the mirrors. And there's a mirror bug. With the mirror bugs, there's a thing. Never attack a mirror bug with your face cannon, because you will do like hundreds of damage, potentially. And uh, that will be, that will all be reflected back at you. So you don't want that to happen. Always attack mirror bugs in melee with your, you know, that will be like 10 or 20 damage and you can just tank that, essentially, as you can see. Like, we have almost 400 health at this point, so that's fine. So, fourth bubble on, next map. Okay, there's another magnet. I don't want to lose my stuff, so we're just going to destroy that. And my stuff is on the floor again. See? Oh, face cannon ticker. I can't. Okay, wait. Put all of this stuff up. And keep exploring. And this is just essentially how it goes in the deep underground. And I'm just going to see how deep I can go, essentially. Let's destroy the mirror. Gamma Moth. Kill the Gamma Moth. Here we go. Astral Tabby. There's another decarbonizer. I usually don't bother with the decarbonizers. Because it's easy to make a mistake there. And uh, that's something I don't want to happen. And it takes a long time to do, you know. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait. Here we go. Force bubble on. Next map. Never change maps without the force bubble. That's imperative. Okay, see? Glow glow moth. Not a glow moth, gamma moth actually. So another another way to do this if you don't have force bubble is to have insect reputation. Right? These are insects. If you have positive insect reputation or neutral insect reputation, these things will not attack you. And uh, that's that. Okay, there's another phase cannon. This might be a time cube over there, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, I already have a time cube, but let's have another one, I guess. <laughs> there's a bunch of interdictors here, which is okay. They're not, not really an issue. Disassemble that. There's an Arconaut here, which is fun. Interesting how they survive down here, I guess. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. And a tank cube. I think that's one of the highest tier items total in this game. So we can just uh, disintegrate the Arconaut. You know? This is like one of these trash fields, which, uh... Ah, found a Taco Suprema in the trash. Delicious. I have so many Taco Supremas at this point. Like, let me see. I have 68. Almost there. We're almost at a nice amount of Taco Supremas. That's a Gravity Grenade Mark III. That's actually... Gravity Grenades are actually good. And there's a Grav Chair. Which we can sit in. Which I'm not going to do, so because I don't know what it does. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn the force bubble on. A bit too early, but it's fine. Because I'm so fast, I have so much move speed. Like, walking does not actually... Like, a turn does only passes, like, every few steps, right? So we don't need to worry about that too much. There's also another, one, another map here that you can sometimes see down here, where there's, like, lava stuff. No, there's just random lava around here. You need to be careful about that because you can basically destroy your equipment with it. Okay. There is a swarm rack over there. Which is quite interesting. Okay.
Swarm Wreck is a heavy weapon. It is, you could say, the heaviest of weapons. And um, it's basically the strongest weapon in the game, probably. But the problem is it has 50, it weighs 1500 pounds. So I'm not able to carry it anywhere. Um, you can just uh, take it and be basically a stationary turret, I guess. But uh, you also need to put missiles in, <laughs> HE missiles. So Chrome Pyramids are equipped with HE missiles, uh, with Swarm Racks. And that can just demolish you, so that's an issue. There's more Nightside Interpolators. They're not that rare down here. You find them quite often, actually. So, we're just going to kill that guy. We don't have a Force Bubble active, but that's fine. Just need to always keep a distance. And here we go. That's that. 68 Strata Deep. Almost there. Almost at the good number. That's just a chem cell, which I have designated as trash. So, as you can see, like, loot and encounter tables are just weighted toward uh, the higher tier stuff. So, like, finding just swarm racks hanging around is not that rare down here, actually. That has happened quite a few times, or like face cannons or whatever. I picked up 3D cobblers that I definitely do not want. This is engraved, so let's take a look at it. Okay. Where are the 3D cobblers? Let's disassemble them. Okay. I've been picking up books whenever I find them. Just to turn them in for experience. I don't need to trade goods anymore. Like, I, I've i collected a ton of trade goods with all the money in the world. And nothing to trade it for, essentially. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. That's how it goes, right? That's what being rich is like. Um, I guess. I don't have any first-hand experience with that. But there you go. Okay. Precision nanon fingers, right? And we have a chem cell in it. So. I'm just going to disassemble it because it's used. Let's just kill everything that is left here. Here we go. Let's wait. Let's wait again. Turn the force bubble on and let's keep going. Another magma crab, which is good. Like, Mama crabs at this point are great because they still give us a thousand XP. Right? So, uh. That's if, like, if we want to get, like, I'm aiming to get this character to level 45. And uh, that's at least one way to do it. Is there a chest here? No. Oh, that's a forge. Okay, chest. Okay. Uh, that stuff is beyond lava but we can take a look at it sharpened polyp in the lava so we don't actually want that okay now these vanta blooms which actually make everything oh crikey see i did the thing again i did not pay attention luckily because we are fast we have a lot we have fast move speed if i can if i see it I can get away without it shooting me, because it does not take a full turn to do a step, right? And that's the reason why we got away. Otherwise, they will shoot on sight, actually. They will shoot immediately once they can. And you need to be careful about that. So we're going to turn on the force bubble, and we're going to go back. And now we're going to kill that thing. Here we go. See? Did not pay sufficient attention. Again. I will get this character killed, probably, doing this while recording. Okay, that's a blast cannon tinker, yeah. Blast cannons aren't fun. <laughs> Don't need to bother with those. Okay, let me take a look at the chest. Flawless crystal gauntlets and a floating glow sphere. Nope, already have millions of these. Uh, can I actually get at that chest in there? Kind of want to explore chests. Well, let's see if we can just <laughs> push this stuff away one by one. Yeah. Let's wait again. Oh, this is getting tiresome. The chest should be beneath the stuff, or maybe it gets obliter obliterated when I do this. I don't know. Okay, and we have another decarbonizer there. 
a few blast cannon cannons that the blast cannon tinker tinkered oh yeah there's a gamma moth kill that thing and then we can go for the rest and uh, here we go i think we're fine over here so let's wait let's wait off oh, that's another spider for that we can't wait let's turn the force bubble back on and let's keep going and that's how you do it hey there's a battle here okay let's kill that thing first let's kill the glow moth you know what i'm going to push the decarbonizer down here oops that didn't actually work how i wanted but that works so i can Need to wait until the false bubble is gone. Here we go. Five compacted bone matters with heightened skill. Heightened skill would actually be kind of nice. The problem down here is you never find... Um, you never find... Do I have... Is that, is it, do I have compacted bone matter? I have so many herb berries. I need to actually get rid of some of this stuff. Um... Is that food, a compacted bone matter? No, it's not. Okay. Well. Okay. We're gonna wait. We're going to turn the false buble back on. And we're gonna continue. Again, never explore without the false bubble. I'm going to change maps because we still have it active. And it will probably be enough. There's another Dromat merchant. And there's another Dromat merchant. There, there's a lot of Dromat merchants down here, actually. Um, we're going to take these guys out. I feel slightly sorry, but only slightly. Okay. 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 And here we go. Let's see what they have. Oh, polarized. Do I have that already? I already know that recipe. Okay. We have a Sphinx Salt Injector. Hey, there's another Linear Cannon. I already have that. So the Linear Cannon, what that does is it essentially does the same thing as the ceremonial vibro kopesh just as a gun and you can't shoot it very fast which is kind of the issue okay and there's the blast cannon which is doing some damage oh there's a cherub mighty robot cherub okay i'm gonna leave that alone for the time being Huh? That's like a unctuous octa sludge. Okay. We can kill cherubs, but it's a bit of a process. So let's not get bogged down here. The good thing is it's melee melee only, so we can just run away. And somebody else has already killed that merchant. Plasma Grenade Mark Three. I'm going to take that. I don't know if I know how to build that yet. Disassemble the Thermo Beam. I should actually check that. Okay, wait. Let's go back to the map before so we can cook. Preserve that. We're hungry anyways. Cook from a recipe. I'm going to use my banana recipe. Still have a few bananas. So we have psychometry. I haven't done that in a while, so let me just quickly check what I can learn how to build. So none of that stuff, yeah, but that's to be expected. Antimatter cells, we already know how to build those. Um, so let's see. Gravity grenade, do we know that already? Okay. Plasma grenade mark three, I didn't know that. Okay, so that's good know how to do that and oh, that's mark one it's useless essentially okay whatever for some reason we have a dormant way droid i think i just never dropped it after hmm. a handrail pistol i'm never going to actually use that so i'm going to disassemble it so um one thing that i want to actually kind of get back at some point maybe we can find some are the electric pistols um, forgot what they are called. I was rolling with these for a bit. Pl 
plasma grenade. Three, five, six. These are actually kind of. Okay, let's wait. Let's do that. Let's see if that actually works against these guys. Ah! I plasma myself. That was stupid. That was so stupid. That was the most stupid thing I've ever done. I forgot that this that these guys obviously reflect. Okay. Let's just leave the cherub alone. I'm not interested in fighting it. This is a slimth, right? Yep. I'm just gonna leave that guy alone. It's neutral. We don't stand to gain anything from fighting it, so whatever. Okay. I usually ooh. Huh. I usually don't like these sort of corridor areas. I prefer more open areas because we can just shoot things and we don't get surprised by stuff. But yeah. Okay. Ah, stairs down. Fantastic. That takes us to the good to the good floor. Here we go. There we are. We are on the nice floor, essentially. Okay, and here we go. So, let's murder everything. Ah, yeah, and that's the deep underground, actually. I think I'm going to actually stop pretty soon, because uh, you can see where that goes. If I... Oh, oh we can go further down, even. Um, if I get to 100, I will... I will record again, I guess. Hey, and there's a Zetachrome hammer. I'm just going to pick it up, just because. If we find Zetachrome, we're going to pick it up. Just. Just to have it. Um, go down. Yeah, Gamma Moth. Kill it. Oh! See? Did not pay sufficient attention. This could have gone wrong. Only reason it didn't go wrong is because I'm fast enough. Force bubble on. Let's go down. And here we go. So yeah. That's essentially... Oh yeah, there's a bunch of blast cannons up there. Which isn't fun. So we're just going to destroy them. Hey, there's an antimatter cell there. Can I kill you from here? No. This should work. I'm not hitting anything. Ah, there we go. This now will work. Need to get rid of that Gamma Moth. There we go. All right. All right. Let's destroy these blast cannons. Something hasn't broken. What, what broke? What broke? Anything that I have? No. Okay, good. Yeah, that's an antimatter meta cell. Which essentially just means another meta crystal. Okay. Let's wait. Force bubble back on. And let's explore. There's a chest with a floating glow sphere in it, okay. Floating glow sphere is not tough to come by <laughs> at this point. You can essentially have infinite floating glow spheres, okay. All right. Force bubble on, next thing. But see, like when you're down here, you have to, you really, really have to not let your focus slip because that stuff can happen really quickly we almost got gamma mothed over there and we don't want to get gamma mothed essentially that's the thing okay let's just kill everything here we go i'm gonna wait 40 turns Oh, there's an Astro Tabby, that's why it doesn't work. 
Okay. Again, astral tabbies are creatures that are out of phase. And, oh, the decarbonizer has almost attacked <laughs> the gamma moth. Didn't though. So okay, need to get out of the way of the thing. Let's wait for a bit. Okay, let's wait for 38 turns. I'm going to turn this back on. Change maps, and that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, there's a Dromite Caravan, there's a Trining Lamprey. Trining Lampreys are basically the only creatures that I don't have a good way to fight with this character yet. Um, I need to find something. There's probably something we can do with some kinds of grenades. Like stasis, maybe? Or gravity grenades, stuff like that. Some of these could potentially work. But I don't really have a good way to fight them yet, and that's bothering me. There's no issue there. I don't have... Um, I can just run away from them. They don't... they are not dangerous to me, but I just don't have anything to actually fight them. And that's a problem. It's not a problem, but it's a bit of a bother. Okay, desalination pellet. Light rail with an antimatter cell. Oops. Oh, okay, sure. Oh yeah, the solar cells that gives us some uh number two tinkering bits again, which are surprisingly hard to come by at this depth. And there's a great salt box, so we can't wait. Okay. Again, great salt bags. Just have a lot of health and a lot of armor. So you can kill them with the ceremonial liberal copishes, but it just takes a long time, as you can see. <laughs> okay, that's the first one. And they sometimes switch places, and that's the second one. Okay. They're not an issue, they basically can't hurt me. They just take a long time to check out. Ooh! Decarbonizing. Hey, there's another battle. Okay, we have a Gamma Moth. We're going to attack the Gamma Moth. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's get this guy. Here we go. Nice. Ooh, another Gamma Moth. This is not good. I hope we can kill it. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to wait. The decarbonizer drank too much and vomits everywhere. Okay, there's some interesting stuff going on there. Four high capacity items. Great renown. Okay, that gives us reputation. So great so high capacity is cells. I don't have any cells that are high capacity, unfortunately. Which is okay. Don't explore without force bubble, Jay. What are you doing? Okay, we're gonna wait until we can do a fresh force bubble. Yeah, you know, always better to be careful than to not be careful. Okay. I did not know decarbonizers could drink stuff. Oh, let's see the astral tabby getting. I think, yeah, astral tabbies can get dismembered uh, because uh, the phase does not matter for the thing. Okay, let's kill that thing. Let me just quickly see. It's a hind foot. Okay, that's the only thing that got dismembered. Didn't really hit full on, I guess, even though it was pretty close. Okay, a lot of interdictors. Force bubble on and continue. Yeah, and that's the downstairs. Okay. I'm going to end this video now, um, and if I get to 100, I will do another one. If not, then that will be that. I will at some point, it will take a bit, I'm just 
I, I right now I can't really stream all that well. It's a bit of a problem. So uh, I will get back to that as soon as possible. But for now, this is that. Uh, you know, I'm just going to record videos now and then and gonna put them up on YouTube for the time being. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.